Gina. Hey, Tia. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Dominique. How are you? Hey, Dominique. You up here. So what are we doing today? We're canning some jelly. Some jelly. Jiggle with it. Jiggle with it. So another probably fast canning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Clock us. <laughs> yeah, it might be faster than the last one because we had to blend, didn't we? Yes. Hey, Hi, Teresa. Teresa. Yes, I think this would be really quick. Um, so I'm canning apple jelly. What are you? And doing? I'm canning pineapple jelly. <laughs> but I thought it was supposed to be three of us. It was. So where's the other person at? Lydia. Barring minds would like to know. Where is she? <laughs> She had um, previous commitments, but she might hop on if she gets a, a free moment here soon. Mm -hmm. um, but she did come up with something special for all of us to see. Um, looks like there's only one other person here. So I think let's wait till more people get in and we'll show okay. what she wants what she wants um, everyone to see. That sounds good. All right. I have, I'm sure you have jars warming up. I have jars warming mm -hmm. up. So this is gonna be a quick one anyway. Uh -huh. We good. We good. Let me quick. So I have my apple juice back there and I am using one and one third cup of white sugar and one and one third cup of brown sugar. Mm. And I and like that. Three tablespoons of pectin. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that or if I'm going to put a little cinnamon or nutmeg in it. When I put the cinnamon and nutmeg in it, I call it apple pie. So, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So we'll see. Cinnamon, uh, it's both those things. Cinnamon and nutmeg just makes apples just pop. That's what, I'm going to try it without it. But honestly, I think I'm going to put that cinnamon and nutmeg in there. I could see that. It's, it's nothing. Those are very good things to go with, go with some mm -hmm. apples. Mm -hmm. So I have that. Yeah. So my cups of juice, brown sugar, white sugar, and then pectin, three tablespoons of pectin. That's all you need. I like the thought of the brown sugar. There was a recipe that I'm thinking about doing at a later date, and it's called um, caramel apple butter. I mean, caramel apple jelly. Mm -hmm. And it did the brown sugar too. So that's why I was that like, brown oh, sugar that just good. turns it like a completely different Doesn't way. It, it kind of caramelizes it. That's going to yeah. be amazing. Mm -hmm. That's going like to that. be amazing. I made something today that I, I think I'm going to end up sending you some. I did. I'm, I have a video coming out for it. I made some sofrito, and I think I told you I was going to be making sofrito. And sofrito is a wet sauce, a wet seasoning, not a wet sauce, a wet, wet seasoning. But it's mm -hmm. um, it's Latin. It's used in a lot of Latin cuisine. Mm -hmm. But it it would probably, even though it'd be good with a lot of things, you could just do your chicken in it. They put yeah. it in the rice yeah. sometimes. I had a um, Friend, well, I shouldn't say had. I have a friend that's Puerto Rican who first got me hip to sofrito. And I was buying the store bought one, like um, that come in the jars you can get on the shelf. And she was like, Oh no, girl, mm -mm. don't buy that stuff ever again. That stuff's nasty. And she gave me the <laughs> recipe for how to make it yourself. Uh -huh. And everybody put their own twist on what they put in it. I mean, they put the same ingredients, but how much of those ingredients you put in there. But it's, I, it's, it's so good. It's just bell peppers, um, the many sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. I put one habanero in it. Uh oh, hey Felicia, hi Betty, hi unicorn lady. Hey Felicia, hey Betty, hey unicorn lady. Yes, Felicia Sofrito. That's so, how you, I was just gonna ask how you spell it too. Thank you. That is how you spell it. 
And this is how it turned out. And it has um, a green bell pepper, a big, I had a large one. So I used one green bell pepper, about a half a cup of garlic, two cups of, and it really probably wasn't two cups if you packed it, but, but two cups yeah. of um, uh, cilantro, um, wow. about 10 to 12 of the mini bell peppers and a red onion. And that might be it. So okay. I didn't put any salt in it, but you would use salt when you, you know, you, but you're using it, it allows you to, yeah, it allows you to kind of, you know, control that. I probably used about an eighth of a cup of water just to help blend everything up. Mm -hmm. hey, y'all, I'm telling you, if I can do, hey, Mona, if I could do smell -o vision Y'all would be like trying to. Get I'm just this like, does it smell outside. like salsa? Like, I feel like. Mm -mm. This is, what does it smell like? Heaven. <laughs> it smells. It really almost smells like um, an um, all-purpose seasoning. You think it mm -hmm. is probably smell like salsa because of the cilantro? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. It actually doesn't, um, but I could see Felicia that says because it's unique. Of, it is unique. It is. That's why it's hard for me to tell you like what it's. But yes, it smells delicious. It smells amazing. I just built a little bit of it out off the lid, um, and I ended up with four of these um, half pints. Of it, oh. but and you're doing a video. When are you dropping that? You know yet? I I probably drop it tomorrow. I was gonna drop it today, but I didn't have time to edit it because it's a short video. It's very short. It doesn't is is unnecessary for length on it because it's so simple. Yes, I have PR friend who makes and uses it on everything. Yes, unicorn lady, and it's um that's what it is. It's like an all purpose. Seasoning. What Use sauce? It on everything. All right, I'm gonna get started and put mine in. So I'm using three cups okay. of apple juice, one one third cup of white sugar, one one third cup of brown sugar, and three tablespoons of pectin. Okay, and I am using four cups of pineapple juice, um, three tablespoons of pectin, and three cups of white sugar. So I have my can't my um my pot warming up, so I didn't want to. I took it off the burner because I know it's hot. So we're making jelly, and with jelly, um, jelly is just fruit juice. Any kind of fruit juice is going to be your jelly. So for me, the easiest thing to do is just go to the store right. Juice. Try to get some with no sugar added. Real juice, <laughs> not drink. And I will show you guys the juice that I drink. I'm bringing you guys in at a different angle this this time so that you can see the stove and the pot. But I've used. Go 100% pineapple juice. So, hey, Pow Pow. Hey, Pow Pow. You did cranberry this morning. She's in Fort Lauderdale. That's Miss Betty. Pineapple. Wait, I want that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing pineapple. This is the easy one too, Felicia. <laughs> Wait, I want that. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna get fixed today. It's a dinner. We're, we're making jelly. I'm just dissolving my pectin into this apple juice. 
And I'm just gonna put mine right into the um, pot. That's one, two, three. I'm gonna do a little extra for the grown one. It wasn't a whole nother tablespoon of I'm just using my whisk to make sure that um, pectin dissolves in the juice and doesn't just clump up. Sorry. Um, oh, I wish I could grow figs. My grandmother had figs so good. Where do you get your pectin? I get mine just from the stores, usually in the canning aisle. <coughs> Honey? Yep. I last Hi. time I got one was Target. Is that Tanari? Oh. Well, I finished off that bag. Is that a big bag of pectin? Well, no. Cane sugar. <laughs> I gotta get another one. Fort Lauderdale. How did you like the cranberry sauce, Betty? Come out good. Is that you? Um, this is Kanisha, not tea money. Hi, tea. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, that looks like Tadari. Um, hi, Kanisha. Kanisha is my very best friend. Awesome. I have to say that. <laughs> Were you threatened? <laughs> I've been threatened. What are you cooking? I am making apple jelly. So that's what's back there on it. I'm just waiting on that to, to beep. And once it beeps, I will add the sugar. Good Mine job. Come to a boil. And then I will add, once it has a rolling boil for a few minutes, I will add the sugar. Okay, it was so good. Should try it. Yes, we did the um cranberry sauce last week, and not only was it delicious, it was easy. Yeah, these are very easy. Mm And they make good gifts. A lot of people love these jams and jellies. Now pour some out because I had too much. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike was talking about making some homemade cornbread over at GT's house. Okay. You know how to make homemade cornbread, Mike? You're going to have to teach us how to make homemade cornbread. I tried it once. Yeah, I can't. I'm not even trying. I didn't. I didn't. You've never tried it? No. I and did I that one time. And it That's why there's box mix. It's much better that way. <laughs> oh, y'all, did I miss it? I think you did, um, Miss Betty. It was last weekend. Oh. It was quick because it was... We were like, hey, how you doing? We making cranberry sauce. Bye. <laughs> it was quick. It was um, easy. It was a really easy recipe.
Now, Tia, do you think you're going to have um, the foam doing using your um, jelly maker? Yeah, I still get the foam. Okay. So, if I see the foam, I'll um, I'll put the um, you know, the stuff in it, the butter. I think I want to add the cinnamon. I don't see why you wouldn't. Because that sounds delicious. The apple is good, but I feel like it needs a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and add some. Do who like cornbread? I do, Felicia. It is not easy. That's a lie. I took a recipe. Where did I get that recipe from? Was it from my bread maker book? No. I got it offline somewhere. It was not good. That's so much better. Should I also mention it that I like my cornbread sweet, though? I'm not from the South. <laughs> I know they usually could eat it both ways. No, I need, I need to sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. I agree, Kanisha. I like that. With that, um, that's why I've been canny with Tia because she teaches along the way, so I'm cheating. I pop up here so I can get some free lessons and get some canning. Beans and cornbread, yum. I got some beans, some um, red beans with smoked turkey in my fridge right now. Oh, you like tweaking the, um, the box, the mixes. Um, Kanisha asked, can you add caramel to make caramel apple jelly? And weren't you just talking about the caramel apple? I was. You don't have to add caramel. Who asked that? Kanisha. Kanisha. Um, brown sugar gives you that, that caramelization in, with the jelly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think that's when you're using apples. So little apple pieces in there and not mm -hmm. the juice so much. So I think that's mm -hmm. more of a jam than a jelly. Yeah. But yes. Um, it's but yeah, Kanisha, like you can't add caramel, caramel, like you're thinking of to can it. Um, you could always do that after you open it up and right before you're going to use it, but you can't do it to can it. But like Gina was saying, you can take those ingredients and make it and give it that caramel taste flavor without it being really caramel. Mm-hmm. So Mona said, I'm confused. I thought we were canning jelly. We are. We are. We are candy jelly. This is how you do it. Are you confused because we used the fruit juice, Mona? What part are you confused about? Okay, Mike. No problem. I am going to hey, try to the grub around. Sorry. Hey, learning to grow your own. Let's see if I can. This pineapple juice smells good. <laughs> I bet it does. It's almost okay. like what? So I'm going to play this. So yes. Lydia couldn't be with us, but um, she sent you all a message because she loved you guys so much. So here you go. Now, can you see the screen? 
I can. It's not showing it yet, though. I see it buffering. Okay, let me try to make it big over on StreamYard. It looks it's, big it's over here. Big. I'm it sorry. Big it we're just small. Okay, good. Hey, her healthy home. Hey, KK. Oh, she thought we were making cornbread. That's we're just talking about cornbread. <laughs> I was just talking about program. Okay, is she frozen? She is. What is going on? There she goes. I think it's me. TG's Urban Pantry family, my up family. All right. So, hey, I'm Lydia from Betcha Journey, and TG has took me on an amazing care journey. I have enjoyed all this time that I'm listening to her. She's giving me information because I want to be good at what I do. And I trust that by her giving me the information is correct. When somebody go pay for school, you know it's going to work. So today, she's doing a daily jam series, and I'm in it, but can't be in it. So I hope y'all have a good time. I'm making a group punch jam. Let me show you what I did right here, all right? Four cups of juice that you desire. I'm going to put half of the mouth in first, all right? Three tablespoons of pectin. That's three tablespoons. If I was to use all of it, it would be about four tablespoons. Are you cold? Good. We'll put some more fire. Let's get this heated up. All right. Keep stirring, okay? Go ahead and melt some of that pectin and add the rest of your juice. When I tell y'all, this is smelling good already. It smells good. I got that pectin dissolved. I'm going to bring this to a rolling boil, get it nice and hot. Not rolling, but nice and hot. And then I'm going to add that sugar uh, for the sugar. Okay. Now that I got the pot heated up, I got my jars running full time to heat up too because you want to put a hot product in a hot product, right? And that right too. That's right. Okay. So here's my sugar going in. And while my sugar going in, I'm going to be stirring it, y'all. Three cups of sugar. All right. So, so three and three. three. That's, that's easy to remember, remember right? Well, it's four or three and three. All right. So I'm going to stir this and stir this. And we're almost done. <coughs> just, just keep staring, 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 just keep staring. Y'all don't know what the story is. I am a family. You're right on this jam is about to be up. You see the rolling boil? And watch me stare it. Okay? It can't, and if I stop staring it, if it keep rolling, it's done. So, so it's, it's called, called oil that cannot be stirred down, and it's not stirred down. And yeah. it's over. It's done. Let me test it out right quick, okay? All right, this is a frozen spoon. I'm going to test it and see is it ready. And you basically drop it. Oh, I couldn't show y'all. But uh, I guess you can see it. See how the jelly is. 
Still see how we do it. Ah, so good. You see the tears right? Alright. So this white, white stuff, stuff, they call it foam. And, and you can either cat a butter they say, or you can just skin it across the top. So I'm just taking my spoon and taking it off the top. All right, right up there. I, I got, got my jar ready. Yeah. Just like this product, okay? Now, I just want to say, this is it. I just want to show y'all. I'll show y'all I'm holding it the wrong way. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Follow me, don't follow me. Don't follow me. All right. So, hold Get my jars over here. Um, then after I fill them up to the head space, I'm going to then take the head space because I'm about to take you there too with the head space. Um, then I'll just close them off and put them back in if you got a final picture. Again, I'm sorry I could not make it live, but I love can. I love can. And it's so easy, y'all. You ever hear Tia say YouTube see YouTube do? That's me. Thank you guys for always following TT and coming along with us for the Saturday Night Lives um, can session. It's been amazing. Look forward to her weekly live coming up when she's going to vacation, y'all. she give us some time. All right? Thank you, Tia. I appreciate you. Have a great day. I'm well. My family's well. And I hope you too are well, too. All right. <laughs> Hey, African Dreaming. Hey, Psalms 146. Hey, Psalms 146. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Hi, KK. So, yeah, Lydia couldn't be here. But she recorded that so you guys could see it. And she took you straight through start to finish. So you can see exactly what we will be doing and everything. And that headspace she was talking about is one fourth inch. And she really did call me. <laughs> All right. So I'm just catching up with the chat. Everybody saying hi. All right. I think good. Hey, Kenyatta's Journey. Welcome. Hey, my first time here. Well, welcome. So every hey, Saturday night, I go live, and Gina is usually right there beside me. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate you so much. Um, and we actually can right here in front of you, process start to finish. Um, right now, we're just canning jelly and showing how easy it is to make jelly. Next week, we're going to do jam, and we're doing it three different ways. So I have um, apple jelly, and Gina is canning pineapple jelly. Yep, I'm trying to get the camera down so you guys can see the She's jar. She's further ahead than I am. <laughs> and Lydia um, can't be here, but I just showed a video. Um, that she prepared for everyone and she made a fruit punch jelly because with jelly it's just fruit juice and you can use store-bought juice so no sugar added it can have sugar in it but no sugar added that's the only thing i recommend yes please hit the like button thanks kk i still got six minutes So back there, I have my jelly going in the ball jam and jelly maker.
I don't know if you guys can see these jars or not. I can't see the screen. But hopefully you can see them as I am filling them. I don't think I need any butter. Um, not really um, foam. I just more got bubbles from it boiling. So I don't think I need to add anything or skim the foam off. I'm good. I actually did get quite a bit of foam, but I got it out. I didn't, it wasn't quite a bit, but I had some. And I think I'm going to end up with six jars, Tia. Okay. Nice. I so Fong said, sounds like you can use Juicy Juice. They got good yep. strawberry banana, one that would make an interesting jelly. You are absolutely right. That I will use good. Juicy Juice because they got tons of flavors. Kiwi, strawberry, anything. Um, you, you can make your own grape jelly like that too. Just get some grape juice. Stop getting it from the store. <laughs> um, hey, Micro Farmer, how are you? Hey, What's micro. That? I was trying to hang with um, Mona last night on her first live. Ended up having micro and Miss Cheryl and James on there. And what were y'all talking about last night? I was like, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> James was talking about something on there. Huh? And you be talking about me not being able to hang. I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, it was the garden. I was talking about something. And I was like, I can't. I can't. Hey, Lydia. Hello. Pam, she done made a nickname. She took Urban Pantry. So if you see that, that's fine. I still got four minutes. So Gina, you ended up with six and Lydia ended up with six. Okay. I wasn't sure how many she ended up with. Mm -hmm. Well, Lydia, did you have five or six? I saw six in the steamer. And how many did you end up with? And um, you guys, I'm just getting vinegar to wipe my jars. Oh, man, three hours. You yeah. just saved me from going longer. <laughs> yep, because he went on at midnight. At least here, it was midnight. And I was going to try to um, catch him, but I couldn't. Lydia said, Homer. <laughs> And you, both you and Lydia did one cup less, one cup more than I did. I only did three cups of juice. Ah, okay. So I probably won't have as much as you guys. It was fun, Mona, Teresa said. We be up canning all night. <laughs> That's different than sitting down and watching. That's six. So nice. Okay. She ended up with six. Lydia had six? Yes. Okay. So I had the same. I might not be quite at a, a quarter inch head space. I might be a little short of that, but that's okay. I eyeballed it. Good. Don't judge me. I've done a, a lot of jams, um, so I think I can see it a little bit. Um, cause I've done the pepper jam. I did two different kinds of pepper jams. I did a festive jam. I did the watermelon jalapeno jam and I did the cranberry sauce, which is jam ish. Jam ish. <laughs> <laughs> jam ish. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Got one minute. For those of you are, that are new to these live canning sessions, me being ahead of Tia means absolutely nothing. 
because I always struggle getting my canner hot enough. Yeah, Felicia, jam ish. <laughs> like black ish. <laughs> the show. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. Or in my fingers. How did you make that, Mike? How did you make your salad? What else did you use other than your pepper sauce? I need to do sorrel soon. Do what with your sorrel, Felicia? I saw somebody made sorrel jam. I was just wondering if that's what Felicia was going to do with. Yeah, that's what I'm like. What's going on with the, with the sorrel? Just in case you didn't see, this is a pineapple jam. And I think that, um, or jelly, not jam, pineapple jelly. But I think that I'm also later going to do a pineapple um, um, habanero jam or jalapeno. I don't know, because I still have peppers, guys. I still have peppers. Short for all mine. And I ended up with six jars, six eight ounce jars. Good job. Why are you reminded me of like pineapple upside down cake? Ooh, I know. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite cakes. My mom used to make it all the time. German chocolate cake mix. You know I love me some German chocolate cake. That's absolutely my least. <laughs> Actually, it ain't even a least favorite. It's just not even on my radar. I don't do coconut. I got these cleaned really good because that sugar will stick. Yep. I just took a little extra time. up with 
So you still, um, in, you used more than us and used less ingredients? Oh, you did the littler ones. Yeah, mine are four pints. So really I only ended up one, two, three of yours. This is all bell peppers from my garden. Just bells, just bell pepper. But I think I'm done picking peppers. <laughs> I do have um, habaneros, jalapenos, and serranos as well, and scotch bonnets. Let's see what I miss. A Popeye's chicken live or something I've seen led today with Popeye's chicken. Might go into Popeye's tomorrow and eat in the store and bring clothes to home for African dreaming. Napkins and all. Did I hear German chapter cake? You did. Yeah. All right. Bring that to a boil and then process for 10 minutes. Lydia, I'm making pineapple jam. Pineapple jelly. Minus pineapple. What, Tia? You used the jam and jelly maker? <laughs> yeah, it's a jam and jelly maker. Hey, Aunt Tia. I love banana bread too, Mike. And banana, yes, hey, banana bread that. and banana bread. Mm hmm. Both. Mm -hmm. So it's equal parts juice and sugar. About, no. yeah. For me, it ended up being that way, but. When I use the jam and jelly maker, I have to make small batches because it overflowed. So that's why I didn't end up with as much as Gina and Lydia. I'm moving and I'm worried my stove won't get my canner hot. Sorry. You can test it. Now, I have an electric water bath canner that's an option and i know they have electric pressure canners Dig um, lydia has a digital one and then um my big pressure canner that i just got is specifically made for induction burners so that could be an option too if your stove isn't going to be able to get it where you need it to be just some options but they could be costly Welcome. Thank you, Lydia. Okay, Felicia says she's making jam with it. I use pepper sauce, Dijon mustard, and honey, and olive oil. Ooh. Uh, Mona, you out there challenging people to... um to banana pudding cake recipes? Okay. Can I be a judge? Never, look, let me be the judge. I'm willing I've never to be a judge. I'll be food. fair. I'll be fair. Gina would not win. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I've never made banana pudding cake. <laughs> so I don't think you have a lot to worry about. I'm just putting the rest of my um, pineapple juice in this container. Did I hear German chocolate cake? Yes. <laughs> hey, Angela, how are you? Hey, Angela. It is micro, it is. I will tear the entire thing up by myself and have no shame in it. Applesauce cake. I've never heard of that, Mike. I've never had that either. Or heard of it. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Miss hey, Cheryl. Hey, Miss Cheryl. How y'all doing tonight? Mona says, sure. 
Are you saying sure to me being the judge of your banana, banana cake challenge? Or is she saying sure? I mean, sure, I won't win. Because <laughs> I don't like that one. <laughs> All right, I think I'm caught up. It's applesauce oh. walnut cake, but she. I'm out, she Mom. Mike, I don't don't put no nuts in my my mm -mm, my food. You said I'm you're out. out. I'm out. That's the surefire way to ruin any dish for me. <laughs> um, so Jay said mix that pineapple with some rum. Let me see what you yes. did in the already. It's in the it's in the canner. No, the pineapple juice. Oh, what's left of it? Because I threw the can in the. I was gonna say I threw the can in my recycling thing. Yeah, what you put in the container. Yes. Now you can drink it just like that, but yeah, you uh -huh. can mix it with some stuff. Mm hmm. So picky, yeah. Mike said about you. I am picky. I you I I will admit that. <laughs> but yes, actually, Jay, I might use this to make some pineapple habanero jam. Do it. Do it. So you guys, yesterday I fried some chicken and Gina has sent me her go a couple lives back, but we, all three of us made a pepper jam and Gina has sent me her watermelon jalapeno. And I, on the same show, made peach habanero and everybody was talking about it, talking about it was going to be too hot and stuff. She only put 50 habaneros in it. <laughs> I feel like both of them as a glaze. Now, honestly, I have to admit, I did not try yours, Gina, out the bottle. Uh huh. Now, I did taste mine and I was like, mm hmm. <laughs> but yeah. using it as a glaze, and I did put a little dollop of butter in both of them. They were perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Even Marcus said something about it. Mimi said she didn't like. Mine, but I'm not paying her no attention. She's not a part of the committee. <laughs> but um, yeah, we both liked it. gave gave them nice little heat, but a subtle heat. It didn't knock you out. Mm -hmm. I used it as a glaze good. myself, mm -hmm. and it was good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The watermelon. I, for those who you have to go back and watch, but I actually used watermelon that I grew in my garden to make the the jam. <laughs> So I juiced it and everything. I got fancy for y'all. <laughs> fancy. <laughs> fancy. Oh, so yeah. I got you, Jay. I got you. I have a jar of that jam. I like it on crackers. Yes, I've had it. Actually, uh, Michael, I took it, took the um, festive jam I made to a girls' night I went to, and I took some um, some um, goat cheese on crackers, and they loved it. I actually had two people try to buy it. <laughs> Call them, reach out to me to see if they could buy it. They really liked it. And I think one thing about it too is this not common. I don't, it's not like you can just go to the store and get some of that. You so, actually can, but it's not as good. I saw it in the grocery store. I've never ever seen it. I saw it by the butcher counter, the 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 like steak and stuff butcher counter at one of the. I was in, I think I was at a Kroger. Um. I think I was. And I was like, it didn't even look, it didn't even look tasty. They had it colored. So it was like a jalapeno pepper jam, but they mm -hmm. used green food, food color, coloring. So the, mm -hmm. the whole jar looked green, like green jello. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't even like the way it looked. But I told you one of my employees, I 
gave her a jar because there's like maybe four of us in the office who like spicy stuff. And so I knew she was one of them. So I gave her a jar. I mean, it's not hot. It just has a little kick. Yeah. And she came back the next day and she said, I am a pepper jelly connoisseur. And that is the best pepper jam I've ever had, hands down. She said, and she, this woman is almost 70. And she was like, I would, I am not making this up. I've never had it that good. So I gave her another jar of it. She was like, you're in the wrong profession. You should be selling Aww. this. <laughs> I was like, I'm not putting my job to sell pepper jam. I can tell you that now. <laughs> so many facts. I said, maybe next year I might do a lot of jars and sell them at the farmer's market because we have one that um, you could just get um, space and all that. But we'll see. So I'm sitting here while we're just talking. Um, we got a bunch of red peppers from the Amish market and I'm just putting them into this thing to chop them. So what kind of red peppers? Just bell? Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, it was a basket, maybe about that big basket for nine dollars. Yeah, if y'all haven't been to Tia's um community page and seen all that squash she got <coughs> for one dollar, yes, I'm being exaggerative, but it felt <laughs> like it was one dollar for all of it. You might as well say she got it for such a good price. Good. Uh, they have what at the farmer's market, Felice? What did I know? <clears throat> Don't worry about that, Jay. You're making festive again. Um, I still have jars of festive jam. I still have it. So, Mike, how you make jalapenos? Pineapple juice. Yeah, I'm not juicing. That just seems like too much heat to me <laughs> to juice it. The funny thing is all my peppers are pretty hot. They're not intensely hot to where I can't take them. Habaneros are pretty damn hot, but, you know, I'm pretty dang hot. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... Hey, Nikki. Yeah, hey, Nikki. I'm rebraiding my hair, rebraiding my hair, rebraiding your hair. <laughs> okay. On Tuesday, day. I keep hearing my, um, my pot, it sounds like it's boiling like crazy, but I know it's not. The seeds and ribs make it hot. That's the best part, Mike. So I told you that this pot has a temperature gauge on it. Oh, yeah, that's your new pot. Yes. It's at 140. It goes up to 200. It's about halfway there. It's at 140. I'm going to turn right. it up. Um, Mine just started boiling again. How about we play Best Yet's video again for those that just came in? So Lydia okay. did not join us tonight, but she kept, she, you see, she did not have to do that. She wanted to make sure she showed y'all just different ideas, different things to do on this easy recipe. So she pre-recorded it. So I'm going to show it. Journey and 
TT has took me on an amazing canning journey. I have enjoyed all this time that I'm listening to her. She's giving me information because I want to be good at what I do. And I trust that by her giving me the information is correct. When somebody go pay for school, you know it's correct. So today she's doing a JLE jam series and I'm in it but can't be in it. So I hope y'all have a good time. I'm making fruit punch jam. Let me show you what I did real quick. All right. Four cups of juice that you desire. I'm going to put half of the amount in first. All right. Three tablespoons of pepper. That's three tablespoons. If I was to use all of it, it would be about four tablespoons. Let's get this heated up. All right. Keep stirring, okay? Go ahead and melt some of that pectin and add the rest of your juice. When I tell y'all, this is smelling good already. It's smelling good. I got that pectin. Is all. I'm going to bring this to a rolling boil, get it nice and hot. Not rolling, but nice and hot. And then I'm going to add that sugar. Time for the sugar. Okay, now that I got the pot heated up, I got my jars running full time to heat up too because you want to put a hot product in a hot product, right? Ain't that right, Tim? That's right. Okay, so here's my sugar going in. And while my sugar going in, I'm going to be stirring this, y'all. Three cups of sugar, all right? So three and three, that's easy to remember, right? Well, it's four, three and three, all right? So I'm going to stir this and stir this, and we almost done. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, just keep stirring, 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 just keep stirring. Don't do no work. No, no, just slow down, just slow down. All right, my up family. This jam is about, sorry, jelly is about to be up. You see the rolling boil and watch me stir it, okay? It can't, and if I stop stirring it, if it keep rolling, it's done. So it's called a boil that cannot be stirred down, and it's not stirred down. And I'm, it's over, it's done. Let me test it out right quick, okay? All right, this is a frozen spoon. I'm going to test it and see, is it ready? And you basically drop it. Oh, I couldn't show y'all. But uh, I guess you can see it. See how the jelly is staying. See how it was. Y'all nah, see that. You see the tear drop? All right, so this white stuff. They call that foam. And you can use a cab of butter, they say, or you can just skim it across the top. So I'm just taking my spoon and taking it off the top. All right, up family, I got my jars ready. They, they are hot, just like this product, OK? Now, I just want to say, this is it for me. I just want to show you. Uh oh, I'll show y'all. I'm holding it the wrong way. Don't don't do what I did. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Come on. All right. So hold. On. Get my jars over here. Um, then after I fill them up to the head space, I'm going to then. Yeah, tell them the head space because I'm about to text you and ask you what's the head space. Ah! Um, then I'm going to just close them up and put them back in there and give you guys a final picture. Again, I'm sorry I could not make it live, but I love can. I love can. And it's so easy, y'all. You ever heard Tia say, YouTube see, YouTube do? 
That's me. Thank you guys for always following TT and coming along with us on the Saturday Night Lives um, canon session. It's been amazing. Look forward to her weekly live coming up when she go on vacation. Yeah, she'll give us another All right. Thank you, Tia. I appreciate you. I'm great now. I'm well. My family's well. And I hope that you are well too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Has yours started yet? <clears throat> As uh, the yes, I feel like I only got about um, yes, I only got about three or four more minutes. Okay. See, I told you guys, me being ahead of her means nothing because my processing time just started. That's how long it took for mine to start boiling. <laughs> Let me see in the chat. She did. Yes, I did run it, but I ran it again, Lydia. You didn't say only run it once. <coughs> you know what? It seems like a lot tight, of right. sugar, <laughs> but when you think about how much you're going to consume of the jelly it's not yes. exactly i had because exactly. when i first some of these jams that's a little bit of jelly compared to what i've done in some of these jams. Mm -hmm. i did that festive mm -hmm. jam was like mm -hmm. seven cups of sugar mm -hmm. and i said you know so because marcus that's a lot of sugar that is a lot of sugar you are absolutely right that's a lot of sugar but you are not sitting there eating all that you, I got, how many did I say? Six jars. So divide that. So that's half a cup of sugar a jar. That's still a lot. But even then, you're not sitting there eating an entire jar. It's just like when you go to the store, there's a serving size. Your serving mm -hmm. size is much. It spreads. Spread it on whatever mm -hmm. you're going to spread it on. And that's it. <laughs> yep. Even when I use it for my, um, when I did the wings and I um, tossed them in it, I might have used three tablespoons of mm -hmm. jelly, mm -hmm. melted it up in the microwave a little bit to get it loose, and then I tossed my wings yep. in it when I got done. I did the same thing. Well, I did mine on the stove, but I did the same thing. But yeah, yeah it's just a bit. you're just using a little bit. He's so crazy. <laughs> Jay said he's eating the whole jar on site. <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> I mean, it, it is that good, Jay. I'm not going to lie. It is that good. I had on the wrong shoes today. My back hurt. Oh, Liddy. That, that's why. And that's those shoes I was telling you about, They you won't have that problem. But uh, it's still in the cart, by the way. <laughs> It's still in the, the cart. I suck like that. The next time we go to the Amish place, I'm going to try to do another video. We went later than we usually do. And there was a lot of people there. Okay. Um, they have so much stuff. I saw. I was like, yeah, we need to step. They need to step their game up here. Because I don't, unless I just don't know where to go. I don't find places with that much. We have the baskets of green beans. So usually what they is, they have all that stuff anyways, but then they also have the baskets and the baskets are, are a little bit cheaper than if you picked it yourself. They're going to mm -hmm. sell it faster. They don't let you keep the basket though. I tried. Um, but um, so they had baskets of green beans, baskets of corn, still had a couple tomatoes left. They had green peppers, red peppers, and the peppers filled up this box. That's how wow. many peppers, peppers we had. Wow. Honestly, not all of them were good. We did pitch some because they were just, yeah. 
But I mean, still cheaper than the store. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we're doing is we took all the peppers, washed them up and everything. And um, I'm just gonna chop them all up and then put them into freezer bags and freeze them. That's um, what I do. Thank you. I got that from you. That's what's gonna happen with those peppers I showed you guys. Y'all, I don't think you saw it here because you had walked away. But I got there's a whole bowl of peppers from my bell peppers from the garden. And this this colander. These are all bell peppers from my garden. So wow. I'm gonna chop these up and freeze them. And some of them I'll dice, some of them I'll slice. I put them in there both ways. I have some already in there from harvesting earlier in the season. But I purposefully grew a lot of peppers, attempted to yeah. anyway, so that I would have enough peppers to last me until the next season. That's mm -hmm. the goal. Mm -hmm. Hey, David. Hey, David. Mike said, David, keep that stank foot covered. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> Mm -mm. But yeah, you had a lot of peppers. Um, yeah, I think I feel like I had a lot more than last year. I don't have Gina amount, but I did like you didn't, it. I probably them all up many of, Yeah, you probably didn't plant go OCD on the planting. I did. After I planted all those peppers, I was like, "Why did you plant all those?" At the time, it seemed like the right thing to do. I mean, I do shirt. Star Wars, Han yeah. Solo. Um, Angela asked who was on my shirt. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we got all of those winter squash, and we got we got three different kinds, but that wasn't all they had. We just weren't was not sure what to do with all of them. Mm -hmm. But I saw a recipe for acorn squash once I got home. And I was like, oh, I should have grabbed a couple acorn squash too. Have you ever had acorn squash? No, ma'am. Now it looked like she cooked it up the same as the delicata squash, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure does it have a milder flavor? I don't know, but I know I'm gonna try it. I know that's right. I saw you had spaghetti and it looked like you had butternut and then the um, delicata. Did you have anything delicata. else other than that? Nope. We got a lot of the delicata. Those are easy. I can come home from work, cook one up. Um, a lot of the delicata. We only got one of the butternut. Marcus is going to make um, a soup. I'm not too okay. much of a fan of the butternut. So I was like, just get enough for you. And if we need some, we know where they are. That thing is hard to slice. It's broken. It's broken. The tamale um, video dropped today. Who's did? The tamale. Homemade tamales on Psalm 146. Ooh, Psalm. I had lots of tomatoes. Nice amount of peppers and squash. Nice. Yeah, I had I lots of tomatoes. Had to make Jay, your um your your uh potato harvest wasn't too bad either. I know that they weren't probably as big as you wanted, but it wasn't bad. Mine was probably about the same as yours or less. What's what kind of squash do you? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Which, which I think they each have their own little. Um, what's best to make for each one, depending on what kind you're getting or something. Oops. Sorry, you're the wrong button. Butternut. He wants to know about butternut. You want to tell him? Mm-mm, because I don't eat butternut squash. 
This would be Mike. your first time. Oh, that's what you said, your husband. Uh, <coughs> Lydia, Lydia made a soup out of it. I've seen people make soups out of it. I've also seen people um, cut it into chunks and, like Mike said, roast them. Um, roasted, I should say, not them, roasted. Um, but I don't, I'm not a big squash eater. Y'all inspired me. I bought peppers for Festum Jam. Maybe jam, maybe dehydrate, maybe freeze tomorrow. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Felicia, oh, yes. How do you use spaghetti squash? Felicia's Roast is squash. I thought I heard people do that with the butternut. Roasted. Now, like Did Lydia you mentioned, I am going to do a week of lives in November. I think it's the first full week in November. Mm -hmm. And I have never canned winter squash. So I think that's what I'm going to do is take some of that squash and can it. Mm -hmm. I hate squash, Young, but I think I might like... I feel like I like winter squash better. Um, the summer squashes, like the zucchini, the regular, I'll eat them, but I'm, I pick over them. I'm going to pick over I'm them. The, I'm the opposite. I like the summer squash. Do you? I like zucchini. That's why I grew it. I, I uh, grow yeah. it, and I get it, and I cook it, but then I notice that I'll either pick it out, I'll make sure it's got some salt on it, and I just I eat it, but I'm not enjoying it. Uh huh. But the winter squash, especially that delicata. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy that. I know I'm making some tomorrow. See, uh oh, it jumped. I was trying to read what, what, what Mona said. I roasted mine the first time I cooked the butternut squash. Okay. Um, if you make some, oh, she's talking about the tamales. That's Sam's um, talking to. Mona about the tamales. Kenyatta said pepper jelly is on my list to try. You definitely should. It's delicious. It is delicious. And I think that festive, I feel like you have to try the regular pepper jelly so you know, you know your baseline. But then you can jazz it up with so many different things and take it from there. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, a, that's a good one. Oh, tamales. I was about to say, what she needs some extra hands for? <laughs> Mona, okay, you need to do a video right. for you, a single man. A video about what? Her tamales? <laughs> oh, I bet you did, Jay. Did, have you been over to Lydia's house to see what she got out of her out of her ground? <laughs> when she harvested those potatoes? Don't get Tia going. Look, you can see it in her face. <laughs> Don't get her started. <laughs> Go check out her video. All I'm going to say is that don't make no sense. <laughs> don't make no sense. She had great. Then she had the nerve to say, I, I wonder if I should. She was talking about putting something over there to kind of replenish the soil. I said, girl, don't you touch that soil. That soil is good. <laughs> I ain't seen it. I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't seen nothing like it. She had a great harvest. So, so far, the best I've seen. Mm -hmm. He said he did better in ground, and I can believe that. Next year, I'm going to do um, mine in the raised bed. I did like you, Jay. I did it in container. I, um, big, I used planners and stuff, and I don't think they did as good. Felicia says the summer squash, the texture gets mushy too fast. That's exactly it, Miss Felicia. That's my thing. I can see that, but I don't, t I tend to not cook it long. I like it to still have that crunch. And I didn't know I did until mm -hmm. I saw someone do it that way, like a, almost like a salad, but mm -hmm. you, they spiralized it and they didn't cook it. They just kind of ate it raw. It was, it's delicious yeah. that way. Sometimes I've done like a quick, if it's for me, I'll do like a quick sear. I just, yeah. Quick 
Um, yeah. But Marcus act. Marcus likes it cooked down with some Thank onions. You. Okay. And so yeah, I don't like any of them. Any veggies mushy. I don't want it mushy. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. It doesn't have to still be extra crunchy. But yeah. I don't I like, like stuff to be other, other stuff. stuff. Yeah. That's why I don't like spaghetti squash. I've tried it more than once too. I'll go check it out. It's not go something that I'll reach for, way. but Marcus has made it and I, I do like it, but it's it's not gonna be up there on my list. That delicata is up there. David, like have you harvested your potatoes yet? I know you have a bunch of uh growing in your ground as well. Mushy is for <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I turned my canner off. Mine is actually done. You uh -uh. just turned it off? Mm, whenever I got up. I don't remember Dang when it. that was. I ain't been paying attention to the time. My, my canner's been off whenever. I think it must have been when you went and got your peppers because I got up and turned mine off. Ugh. Mine probably is about ready, y'all. I don't remember, though, what time. <laughs> I know that I, I would have been seven minutes after you. Do y'all think it's been seven minutes? It's, yes, Gina. It has. Yes. Since you turned yours off? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I think I need a new tripod, All right, guys. So I got to give it a couple minutes because I want to take it right out directly. Same thing Tia did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give it a couple minutes and then I'll take them out. They look good, though. I, you tasted it before it went in, right? Uh-huh. I got a little um, container that I didn't can. Too. Okay. So the, you, did you do the cinnamon and nutmeg or just cinnamon? I did I did cinnamon. If you didn't notice, I accidentally put a lot of cinnamon in there. So I put in just a dash just of nutmeg. Okay. But it's good. A corn squash, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter is delicious. I bet it is. I have never had acorn squash, but I wish I had got some acorn squash at the Amish place today because... That looks suspect because um, I want to try it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I told Mar Marcus, I'm like, um, they're going to be here all winter. We ain't, we ain't in no rush. We come back. Yeah, that's true. David, you should give us a video and not a short when you harvest those potatoes. You know we give you crap about these shorts. <laughs> so, so Jay, you got back more back back. What'd you say to you? Some of mine are back there popping. Ah, I didn't hear it. I think I heard two already. 
Jay, are you saying that you have some in the raised bed that you need to harvest too? Oh, is Felicia doing fig jam? Mm hmm I think so. Girl, I thought about doing the fig jam, just called for too much work. That's that's what's up. You got about, um, you got about still, uh, three quarters of that box to go, huh? <laughs> yeah. But you're going to be so happy in the end because it's going to be done. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to worry about it. I ain't gonna have to worry about it. Oh, I need a pepper. I need a pepper for this. Uh -uh. Get it out the yes. freezer. Get it out the yes. freezer. <laughs> I made pizza for dinner tonight. I needed some peppers and onion mm -hmm. for my husband's, and I went in the freezer, pulled some out. Because I freeze them so they don't stick together. So I could just pull them out and they'll thaw while they're cooking in that oven. Now, I didn't do that. Um, I asked you after I had already did it, but I just put them in small baggies. Mm hmm. And um, so I figured I called myself doing it like serving size. Mm -hmm. So he can just grab a little small baggie. Of the peppers? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too much, too much nutmeg can get you high. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Hey, that is, it. is that true? Are you being serious? I ain't never heard that. Okay, you're going to do a video. That's awesome. I like it sweet more than savory. Oh, the squash. Chicken broth and heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. yummy too. That's what I said when I do, um, when I can it. I'm like, we, we're, I don't see us opening up a can of squash and eating it like that. But it would be nice to use that for soup. Just take that and puree it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Felicia, have fun. You have to let us know how that fig preserve should turn out. When I saw the recipe for that, I was like, I can't. That was it was a lot of work. <laughs> but I know you got to preserve them. Mm -hmm. How come young. I have never heard this? It's true. Nutmeg can get you high. What? What? Like how much is too much? Because like when I do my um. My uh, sweet potato pies, you better believe there's a lot of nutmeg in it. Like, not a ridiculous amount, but there's a... There's a nice I mean, not because I want to know, because I want to try it out. I just find this extremely hard to believe. I know. I hey, girl, on my own. <laughs> hey, girl, on my own. How are you? I like squash soup. I think I would like the soup. Everything I say I know about, not really one to lie. Good. I didn't I didn't say I didn't I guess I didn't I wasn't trying to say are you lying? I was trying to say if you were joking. Joke may be lying. I try hard not to. Didn't you ever I watch Rock? I, I don't remember that. I used it in I don't remember that. It was at Malcolm X. I didn't watch it that hard. Trust me. I couldn't quote. A line in that movie, and they and Tia know I could quote some movies, <laughs> and that's not one. That's why I like sweet potato pie. <laughs> uh uh, sweet potato pie is good though. It is. It is. It is in prison. Hmm. Hi, creating with Kita. Hey, creating awesome. with Kita. I come in later. We talking about nutmeg high. <laughs> Uh-oh, Sam. Oh, good night, Sam. Yes, get the little one to sleep. Good night, Sam. I know it's <laughs> late. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Everybody saying hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to have to look this you up. On know what? I'm always I'm impressed never, with people. Um, I'm always impressed with people like you, David, who know, who, who have these little um things in their mind these little they know a little about a lot it's i call it useless information i am always impressed with that like there's a guy who i work with who's like that and i'm like wherever we do trivia i want you on my team because you know right. all these all the facts <laughs> be on my team <laughs>
Gina, have you taken yours out the um, canner yet? No, let me get them. Actually, I'm going to try to turn you guys down so you can see when Ooh. I pull out. I'm getting um, it low enough because I got you guys on my laptop. So. All right, jar number one. It's pretty. Do you hear that? It's popping already. Heard that. Two. Yep. <laughs> Mike said pop. There's another one. Look, they pop it awfully fast. <laughs> what are you canning? So Gina canned pineapple jelly. And that's what she's showing us now. That's such a pretty, yeah. like, goldenish color. I know. It almost looks, yes. It's like a um, very goldy color. I was going to say almost oranges, but it's not. You're right. That's exactly what it is. That's very So y'all heard at least four seal. Maybe five. And I feel like I've heard five, which means I should only have one more that needs to seal. Mm -hmm. Love that sound. I know. I know. <laughs> but you don't always hear it. I don't always hear it. I I have gone to bed canning something. Um, and then actually, yeah, last week, I don't think I heard those can before I went to bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, not can, but um, seal. But when I woke up, every last one mm -hmm. of them. Uh, the cranberry yep. sauce I feel so yep. I was happy about that. Mike says golden syrup looking. It does, doesn't it? Angela said, dang, Gina. I got you, David. Send me, send me, um, David, go to my um about and have you I don't think I've ever you've ever emailed me. Go to my about and email. Well, I put it in the chat when I was talking to um to Angela, but if you go to my about, my email is there. Send me an email. Cheryl said, go girl. <laughs> so this was another easy recipe. It was. It was. It was. It was easy. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's a, when I tasted it before I canned it up, it reminded me, if you've ever had pineapple upside down cake, and you know how you put the pineapple rings on the top? If you uh -huh. taste those, that's what it reminded me of. And <laughs> White sugar? I did. I only used the um I use this cane sugar, this organic cane okay. sugar. Okay, yeah, okay. I remember now. Mm -hmm. It looks like peach jelly. I recently can. Yeah, it's got like that goldenish that color is real pretty. Yes. I was thinking about doing some peach jam because I have some peaches left from summer. I had did some smart person thought it was, you know, a good idea to go to the peach truck and get a whole case of peaches and well, so they I had to the you did it twice right because you're crazy you're a psychopath <laughs> i'm like i can't stand i know <laughs> when i was cutting them cutting peeling them and stuff i was like who said this was a good idea although <laughs> everything that was made with them delicious <laughs> yeah. and i feel like I can get frozen peaches. I can get fresh peaches, but it's something about them southern peaches it that is. I can't get around here. It and is. I need to preserve all that I can get my hands on. Yeah. That I Actually, can see. Think peaches. about it. I think I'm gonna do the barbecue sauce instead of a jam. <coughs> so you guys go check out the peach barbecue sauce that Tia made. It's in her playlist. I think that's what I'm gonna make. I made that. Yes, yes, you did. And it looked delicious. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to make with we it. We did try it. Marcus made 
what did he make? He made rib tips or something. And we tried the regular barbecue sauce and the peach barbecue sauce. And I really don't like barbecue sauce. I feel like if, if it's seasoned enough, I don't need barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Me too. So, of course, I gravitated towards what didn't have the sauce on it. But I liked, I did like it. If I was forced mm -hmm. to, I would eat it. But I don't need sauce. Just yeah. Sauce. I don't always put sauce on my um, barbecue either. Um, you know what, David? I think probably every person who has a mama that makes that cake feel that way because my that's why it's one of my favorite cakes. My mom would, oh, that cake would be so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I believe your mama be doing her thing. I know she do. <laughs> that is what that is one of my favorite cakes. My older brother, that is his absolute favorite cake, and my he always got one for his birthday. That was one thing he always got. That was the one thing he asked for mm -hmm. all the time was a pineapple upside down cake. Mm -hmm. So, Kenyatta oh, said, I bought a bunch of fruit today. Yes, Kita. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, and then, then video. and then she said, Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I, I got, got peaches. peaches. Yep. This summer, yes, from Georgia this summer. Mm -hmm. When I know that peach truck is in town, is I do not want to peel them. I do not want to sit there and do all of that. But yes, they don't have that around. They be ready too. When you get them, they be ready. Like you need to be ready to process them within probably that week you get them because mm -hmm. they be good. Yeah. Already getting now, see, right the there. one that I get, they're not ready. They're not ready oh, that day, and they come on a weekend. No. I don't go. I don't go to Peach Truck. I go to another place. Mm -hmm. But my only thing is, they come on a weekend, and they're going to be ready during the week. I'm like, I need, yeah. I need to take some time off work for this. Mm -hmm. but that was mine. They weren't ready right off the truck, but they told me within a couple of days I needed to yep. do have to be doing something. Yep. Um, can it if you can freeze it? Yes. it ain't nothing like it. Yes, David. That I'm part the crunch enough. be coming. It don't be the pineapples that give you that crunch. It's the brown sugar. Yes, the brown sugar with that butter. Because it's a, they. My mom she used to use a whole stick of butter. The best way to cook those is in a cast iron skillet. Melt some brown sugar. I mean, not brown sugar. A stick of butter. Put your brown sugar in there. Let it bubble a little bit to caramelize. Put your pineapples in there and put your cake mix on top of that. Homemade or whatnot, box or whatnot, whatever you're going to do, and put it in your oven. And it's going to bubble up. That that butter and that, that sugar going to bubble up around the sides, and it's going to give you mm -hmm. that caramel. That crust. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Growing my own, you mixed what with cabbage this year? Great. I mixed it, it with cabbage. So good. What was we talking about? We must have been talking about something. I don't know. Mixed it with cabbage. Where are y'all? I'm, in I'm in Indiana and Gina is my next door neighbor. I'm in Ohio. So it's cold. I'm going to do it this year. Growing, it's my challenge. Yeah, we know something. It was something that probably was before. Peaches do not last with me. Yes, I was eating them too. I was eating them. I was yeah, using them. I actually sliced a lot of them up and canned just peaches. Sliced peaches. Towards the end, I was taking oh. some to work, giving them to my mama. Mm -hmm. Who want peaches? <laughs> As David, I sure was though. <laughs> oh, Chow Chow. Growing my own was talking about Chow Chow. Oh, she makes Chow Chow. chow. Mm -hmm. I don't do the pecans, pecans, however you say it where you're at. I do like macadamia nuts. Now, if y'all watched that peach truck video, they had pecans, and I went up to the man and I said something like, Oh, can I have some pecans? I don't know how you say it where you are. And he was like, 
Nathika said, can I have some pecans? And he said, it's pecans. <laughs> but in his sentence, he switched it up and said it the other way later. How you going to correct me? And you saying it multiple yeah. ways. <laughs> I know. I always said pecans, but I've had people laugh at me for saying it. And I'm like, whatever. I think I you said it. I don't have a set way. If I hear you say it, I'm going to say it like how you say it. But mm -hmm. if I'm talking to this person and they say it differently, I'm going to say it how they say it. Mm -hmm. I like nectarines over peaches. I don't even know if I've I ever had a nectarine. Me either. I was just about to say, I don't know if I've actually had a fresh nectarine, David. Growing up, we had a like what are you looking at? Our, we had apple trees near us. We had my grandmother had a cherry tree. So I had fruits off of trees. Like a lot of people, you know, kid of our age group. I know you're probably within that age group, David. And the stuff they sell in the stores, mm -mm. the peaches they sell in the stores. Miss me with it. The first time I had cherries out of the grocery store, I was like, what is that? No, that didn't taste like the cherries I was eating growing up. That's why I'm trying to grow cherries of my own outside. Mike says, I say pecan. Don't say pecan. Felicia mm -hmm. said pecan. That's what I say. Pecan, and pecan. David says pecan. <laughs> <laughs> I think it matters where you're at. I do. I want some sweet. I actually dreamt, dreamt about making a homemade cake. And the funny thing is Mona says something about a banana cream cake. And that's what I had a dream about. And I had a dream that I had those vanilla wafers and I had decorated them around the top of the cake after it was baked and everything. Y'all, I ain't never made no cake like that ever, ever, ever. I don't do no decorating and stuff for the cake. I don't know why I had a dream about that. Because your body was telling you, you need some cake. David, and you so silly. He said, whoa, I'm 27. Okay, David. <laughs> I, mean, I was raised saying pecan, but got made fun of now for saying pecan. I'll be getting made fun of for saying pecan. That's why I try to fill, fill out whoever I'm talking to first. I don't even care. I'll be like, you know what I'm talking about. The nuts are pecans. The pie is pecan. You know what? That's too common. Right. Right. I don't like the pie, so it don't matter. I don't like and the I don't pie. Like, I don't like the nuts either, which is why I don't like the pie. I do like the nut. Mm -mm. Nope. All Make right, sure. y'all. Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, GT. Hey, GT. I make cakes too, Cheryl says. She said, don't forget about me. <laughs> no, you make cakes. Who's the two? Because I don't make cakes, <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> you are alone in this. I said I had a dream about something I don't do. <laughs> I seriously do not bake. I I will I have baked, but that ain't my that ain't my ministry. Cooking is more of my ministry. Baking, not so much. Just because I don't like the I don't like having with baking, you have to stick to a recipe. You do? I don't have to stick with a recipe cooking because I can cook to my liking. So if I don't like onions, which I don't, I don't have to put onions in a dish that I make for myself. But if the dish doesn't call for onions and you like onions, you can add onions because that's what you like. With baking, you can't be like, well, I know it said four cups of flour, but I wonder if it'll work with two. Mm -hmm. No, you mm -hmm. can't do that. That's the difference. No. I like Ronnie. Ooh, no. no. He said that he, I hate Ronnie. Anybody who eats zebra cakes is a serial killer. <laughs> GT, those things are gross. They are delicious. Zebra cakes? <laughs> Only thing little Debbie made that was delicious is oatmeal cream pies. Period. 
I'm gonna get I'm, first off, I'm gonna get them strawberry ones and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. hide them because I don't want to share with nobody. Because well, nobody else wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else wants it. So I'm gonna hide them, but the zebra cakes, I I can tolerate the zebra cakes. Mm -mm. You can modify recipe substitute stuff. No, you can, but not like you can with cooking. This is how I bake. Me too. Me too. I've had people in my comments on my videos where I've baked something and they're like, a box cake? Go on somewhere and find somebody who ain't using box cake yeah. mix. Because I am. Yeah. The other uh, reason is still in the store. Listen. Now, I do have some cake flour right now because Lydia made a cake one time and it was so simple how she did it. I was like, I could probably do that. Welcome back, Nikki. <laughs> the strawberry cakes are A1. Yes. Oh, I like a strawberry cake. Not the uh, not the little Debbie ones. I thought you I think he's, he's, he is cake. talking about the little Debbies. Just so mm -hmm. you know. Mm-mm. No, not you and GP are serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> Star Crunch makes my list. It's not high up on the list, but I, when I was a kid, that was probably one of my favorites. Yeah, but now it's too sweet to me now. So that's the only reason why it's not high up on my list. It's actually a little too sweet for me. Although oatmeal cream pies are sweet too. But every now and again, I can take for them. I don't eat them very often at all. You won't find them in my house on a regular. I do like the brownies, box brownies. Yeah, uh, I like box brownies. Cheryl, you don't have to come up in here showing out. <laughs> what she said? Did I miss it? What she said? She come up in here showing out, Miss Cheryl. What she said, I don't eat any of that. Uh-uh, not that. Keep going. I bake from scratch. I sure. bake from scratch. <laughs> right. I do too. Betty puts it in a box for me, <laughs> and then I do the rest. <laughs> Betty or Pillsbury, they put it in a box. See, they so and Duncan, they are really nice people. They do some of the work. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I use box. <laughs> Me too, GT. <laughs> you ever use the three, two, one recipe from the box cake mix to make a cup of? I I know what you're talking about. No, nope. I I'm trying to think if I've done it from cake mix though. But I have done the three, two, one cakes when I did Weight Watchers. That was like a big thing when with Weight Watchers. Back in the day, they're not even called that anymore. Uh, I want to eat any. Oh, you won't eat, eat any of that now. You don't eat any sweets, David. Or oh, you mean like the little Debbie stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I have to. That's like a weird crave. Even ice cream for me nowadays is like a odd craving. I don't know. I'm not a huge sweet eater, which is why it doesn't hurt my feelings that baking is not my ministry. Because I don't eat a lot of sweets. I'm more of a savory person. <laughs> sure, like that is not scratch. I know it's not. <laughs> That's what the three, two, one is. It's kind of a microwave in a cup um, mic. Actually, I think I use cocoa and something. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. I I'm recently gonna made that out for my own. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have banana to check cake. that out. I like I mean, banana cake. Go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. I don't know why I had a dream about that. I like bananas, but I went and bought some bananas today. So hey, Mimi. So I can make some. Um, I can make a banana cake if I wanted to. I've done the poke cake. Have you ever made a poke cake, um, Tia? I I've have done years and years ago. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Mike, are you serious about the microwave cake? Yeah. 
I wouldn't microwave a whole cake. That's not my man. I, I don't really cook in the microwave. Get in the cake, bake oven. Like the easy bake oven, it's crazy. We used to eat that mix, yes. They still do. They still make easy bake oven. I bought, I bought one for, I think both of my girls had one when they were that age. I never had one. Somebody at my job was like, uh, the, she was playing, but she was like the easy bake oven was the first uh, air fryer. <laughs> Kind of was. <laughs> <laughs> Although it just is the light bulb. I don't know what the air yeah. is. I guess it's a light bulb too, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's Google Mug Cake. Mm -hmm. I know, Jane, they making me hungry too. So do no do in mugs. Hey, Mike, here we get mad at your yeah, at your who Sita Sita for not letting you bake on her cake, <laughs> sister. I think that's what is I'm saying, sister Sita. Uh uh. Cinnamon rolls too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My sister had one we baked from scratch after the packages were gone. I wasn't allowed to have one. Um, I don't think anybody in my family had one because I never really understood how they worked. I had one and then I got my girls one when they were little. But it's, it's like, why? We pay all that money for those things. It's just silly. It's like all cakes. Put them in the kitchen with you. Right. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't find Grandma. Found her. Gina, were you able to find Grandma? Oh, I did. I'm going to post it in the chat. Thank you. We boys had to make mud pies on the sidewalk. Now, I, I made mud pies. That's what I made. It's like a 100-watt light bulb. And they let y'all kids play with it? You talking about the easy bake of it? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the light bulb wasn't like you was touching it as the kid. They had this little thing that was like, it curved and then uh -huh. your, your pan fit on there. You just put the pan in there. And then when your food was done, you would put that same thing in there to pull the pan out. But yeah, they let us do it. Now, usually my aunt or my mom was there when I was doing it. So it wasn't like I was just there by myself. He said the little girl's ovens was nasty. I posted that link I posted in the chat. It goes to Growing My Own's channel. I guess I could have wrote that before I put the, the link. Yeah, I ain't the best at dropping links, but that is her link. <laughs> oh, you mean because they got nasty, they were dirty? I mean, they were um, nasty because they got dirty. When mom was cooking, we would get. I can imagine that. To cook in the Easy Bake. Yeah. I had started. It's funny that I even had an Easy Bake, I guess, because it was things that little kids got. Because I can remember being very young in the kitchen with my great grandmother making like um, yeast for, ye um, for yeast rolls. And um, we would make our, I would make homemade pie crust with her because she would bake different kind of pies, fruit pies. We would slice up. I wasn't slicing up the apples, but I would be helping her, like handing her another apple after she sliced it up, taking the one she sliced up, putting it in the bowl with the water and ice, and yada, yada, yada. So I was always in the kitchen. But I come from a lot of women who cook, so. 
so many things have changed from when we were kids to these kids now. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> these kids now are soft. So it's not odd that we survived. We were tough. True. So true. These we kids now are soft. Mm -hmm. You fall off the roof, you just get right up and you don't tell nobody. Listen, you laugh it, but that was a thing. I can remember because we was and we lived in a ranch style house. And me and my brother would climb up on it was a tree next to the house. We'd climb up the tree and get be on the roof of the house. And I remember I got up there one time and I was scared to come down because I'm scared of heights. And my dad was trying to get me down, get me to come down, get me to jump to him because he was like six. Three, well, he is like six three, and so it wasn't that far to jump to him, his arms, but I wouldn't do it. I was scared. That's a trust exercise. Oh I gosh. clearly did not trust him <laughs> to catch me. I was little though. My brother, my baby brother, he would jump right off the roof onto the ground. Mm -hmm. I would too. I would too. I was always used to, like I said, I hurt myself. I just limped on in the house and went and took a nap, and they tell them. Let me just say, drink some ginger ale and go lay down. You'll be all right when you get up. <laughs> all right. That is what hilarious. else? What else you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Don't tell you get in trouble for being up there. Yep. Yep. You just That's dust it off. I was the only girl, Felicia. So I was the only in the yeah. Although my brothers can cook because they also were taught to be able to cook. But let me tell you, my older brother, he's seven years older than me. Most of the women he's dated did not know this Negro could cook. I would be like, not only can he cook, he can cook. Stop playing with me. He never showed them that side of him, so they would always cater to him. <laughs> Mike, when I was six, my grandmother taught me how to do wow. You drink and watch her story. Wow. Me too. Precious. I saw it. take a bath, take a nap. Yep. Listen, go lay down. You'll be fine. Don't make me have to go to this hospital. Cause then you're gonna be in trouble. I'm beat you up when we get home. <laughs> Cause you done got your broken leg. Now they had to take you to the hospital. <laughs> I still be saying that. Go ahead, break your leg. Cause I ain't taking you to the hospital. You're gonna be hobbling around here for the rest of your life. Listen, Look, I work at a doctor's you. office. I'm not taking you into my work. No, 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 no. Hey, our five acre homestead. Hey, our five acre homestead. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the live. For what, Cheryl? Cheryl, what you do? You talking about tonight or you talking about when you were a child? What's going on? I hope you're talking about when you're a child. What happened? So too. Right, GT. Listen. A few brief months, but I lived facts. Mm-mm. Don't make me have to take you to no dang old hospital. Got me out here with these folks. <laughs> Cause you out here breaking your arm. They looking at me like I done did something. Cause you want to be jumping off a house. <laughs> I was not planning on cooking any, cooking for anyone. Thanks for all the love. You're welcome. <laughs> we are actually just wrapping up. I'm waiting to see if Miss Carol gonna respond. I want to know what happened. So we made jelly for those of y'all that came in a little later. I made pineapple jelly. And I made, as a child, she said, I made, I didn't can this one, apple jelly. And it's already started to set. Mm-hmm. That's going to be good on some biscuits in the morning. Sound like mm -hmm. you're going to be making breakfast. <laughs> you said abort abort <laughs> my granny explained my sister 
out of a tree. She was scared to cry. I believe you. Because why you get up there? Now you don't want to get down. I'm not coming up there in that tree after you. I guess you won't live up there. I guess you won't live up there because I know one thing. Ooh, so true. Listen. Not tonight, Mike. We're going to bed. Listen. I got some too. But no, we are calling it quits. We not, We came. We jellied. We chatted. We did. We did all and the guess things. What? We'll be back next Saturday. Making jam. I had to think about that. So this week we made jelly. Next week we're making jam. The week after we're going to make marmalade. It's going to uh-uh. be good. That's probably why you didn't come back, David. <laughs> what do you say? Where did Lydia go? <laughs> <coughs> Lydia probably do not went to bed on us. Lydia went to bed. Mm, she she it's your bedtime. Yes, it's our bedtime moment. She did day uh Mike. She ran from them feet. <laughs> but yes, this was fun. Though. I'm gonna have like a good variety of um of jellies and jams. But mm-hmm. I think I told David to email me. I already got Jay's email and um, Angela email me. You guys, make sure you email Gina and give her your um, address. Angela, if you're still here. She might have already emailed me. Yep. <clears throat> I would love to be on when you're making marmalade. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we're doing all different ways. Is that in the rotation to you? Uh-huh. Let me um so next Saturday is the 22nd. We're gonna do the jam. And then the Saturday after that is the 29th. Is that the marmalade? Marmalade? Yes. Mm-hmm. Lady marmalade. No, don't let me. I don't sing, so let me stop. <laughs> Felicia said, "Me? Is GT going live tonight? You, going live? So I y'all know, gonna make like, me catch out by myself? No. We just already had a jam jelly. He said yes. Jam jelly series planned." <laughs> Yes. Trust me, it's gonna be we gonna be it's gonna be stuff being done going forward. Trust. There's always something. Yeah, GT got a late, late live. He go live in what an hour. Mona, where you going? She going on a cruise. Mona, you going on a cruise? She was talking about it um last night on my um live. Is she going on a cruise? How did I miss that? She's going to Belize. They're stopping in Belize. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Close the mail and somewhere have else. Have fun. Thank you, thank you, bro. And, and eat for me, please. Because that'd be the yeah. highlight of any cruise that I go on is them buffets. You should have did a video, David. I did some pepper sauce. I didn't do a video though. I did some pepper sauce. And I think I could, I think I still want to see how other people are doing there to see if I can be, I can make it. Because it was my first time. Did you taste it? Did you end up tasting it, Tia? No, ma'am. Oh, she's brave. She gonna do it while y'all watching. Her tongue gonna fall off. Because <laughs> it's hot. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's hot though, but it's not that bad. So here's some peppers and vinegar I made. Mm-hmm. And when it, it's been about a week, I'm gonna taste that. 
okay it was your first time too david i put habaneros and jalapenos in mine i like I that. You. so that was this that's nice okay I need a palate cleanser. I think I'm good. <clears throat> I like the little tops, Jada. I, I see you. I see you. Got all fancy. Ooh. I taste it's those good. habaneros. It's got that heat. The, the thing I liked about it, though, is that it didn't, the heat doesn't linger. So I felt Do you the have heat. a fruit in it? I taste something sweet, too. No, there is a little sugar in it, though. There's a little okay. sugar. Maybe that's why I'm picking um, up. And there's salt and vinegar and peppers and I don't remember what. Oh, garlic. <laughs> It called for onion in the recipe, but you know how I feel about it. But next time I might do it the way the recipe said. I'm going to grow some shishitos next year. I'm not going to do habaneros because I have plenty. <coughs> but I, I am going to do Tabasco because I want to do some Tabasco sauce next year. I did and Tabasco. Grow, you did? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do um, cayenne too. I did cayenne the year before. Yeah. I got a lot. I didn't get a lot of Tabasco. Tabasco. You can't see it. So the small ones are Tabasco and the red ones I are the good ones. I was to ask you, is it the smaller ones? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think they got Blossom Enrod or something. So I couldn't use I had them. some of those. That happened with some of my peppers um, in the beginning. You get the soil right though, and that'll go. That'll, okay. that'll fix it. Yeah, it was only on on those. I don't think I'm gonna do scotch bonnets next year either, David. I'm gonna do me a um, I'm gonna make me up some jerk seasoning. I had well, I love scotch bonnets this year, but I am gonna do the peach rush next year, which is a hot one. Um, and I think peach I'm gonna use that for a sauce as well. It's called, um, is it called, it's just called Peach Rush. It's called something Peach Rush or Peach Rush something. I don't know. Yeah. You all right, Tizzy? Okay. I'm good. I'm well, actually like Gina. Hot stuff, so she's okay. <laughs> Gina, I did want to ask you, because I was coughing earlier. Did you ever try that echinacea tea? I did. And do you feel it helped? I do. Good. Where do I do. Where, I have, let me show you the, what I ended up getting. Yes, please. I told you I got three different ones. And I got a um, supplement. <clears throat> so, y'all, yeah, my, this is fall. Here in Ohio, it's true fall. You don't live in Ohio without allergies and sinus issues. It's just not a thing. They even say that. If you live here long enough, you're going to have issues with it. <coughs> Which is my cough. Oh, excuse me. Which is my cough because my sinus is strained. So this one is, where did I go? Oh, I went to Meyer. So this one is uh, called True Goodness, which is the Meyer brand. It's an organic. Okay. Um, and this one just says immunity support with echinacea. And then this one was called, this is traditional medicinals. I don't know what brand, I don't know much about it. I like, it's that. Called, I like that brand. Yeah, it's called throat coat and it has lemon echinacea in it. And mm -hmm. I, I drank one of these already. This one is open. Okay. Um, and then I also um, added a little honey to my tea with that one. And this one is the same brand and it's mm -hmm. called a seasonal sampler. 
and it has a herbal cold care. It has the throat coat. It has echinacea Ooh. plus. That's why it's open. Because it said it had an echinacea plus. So I was like, I'll try that one too. <clears throat> and then it has one that's called Breathe Easy. Now, I sound nasally like I can't breathe, but I can. I didn't think so. so. But I, to me, I do. I sound like I'm... I'm, I sound like my nose is clogged up, but it's not. Well, to me, I do. I sound like that. I feel like if anything, I'm getting just like some sinus pressure. I notice it, especially in the morning. But I use, where is it? Because this is my tea station right here beside us. So I've got all the teas. All mm -hmm. of them. <clears throat> I did the so same I thing. Out the box and I put them in in baggies, but then I keep the. the I, I have the sleep time. I don't drink it anymore though because I don't have problems sleeping. But this is sinus soother, so when I go to bed and I am congested, uh -huh. it it helps okay. just so I can breathe and yes. Sleep. But this is really all I have. So I am I would like to try that sample pack. Yeah, I found that at, at Myers, the sample one. Okay. So, because I saw it had Echinacea Plus, and I was like, well, that must be more Echinacea than the other one. My Echinacea is coming tomorrow, Ms. Cheryl says. And GT, GT says, I really, really want to grow. Echinacea, I can't spell. We know what you mean. I found some I, just the herbs in our health in my health food store, so I've had them. I've just never used them. Yeah, I um, that would be great if I would have that and I could just seep it myself. Um, the herbs or mm -hmm. grow it myself. I'm trying to get a little bit um wiser, I guess you could say, about herbs. Me too. I don't know a lot about them. Me too. I'm trying, trying. But yeah, I guess I could always just, like you said, it's just seep the um the sinus sleepy time and put some echinacea in that. And that should mm -hmm. clear all that up. Yeah. I saw Learning the Girl says she, she had a lot of peppers this year. She has bags and bags of it in the freezer. I mm -hmm. had a lot of them too. I did not... Um, I froze some. I dehydrated a lot. I pickled them. We did salsa. <laughs> I've done pepper jelly. I'm and I still have peppers. <laughs> I showed you guys the bells, but I also still have hot peppers. That powder clear your sinuses. <laughs> what powder are you talking about? Are you talking about the um nutmeg? The pepper. Hey TLC. ITLC. Um, I did that when I, because you know, I do my Wing Wednesdays too now. And last week when I had a the lemon pepper with the hot sauce and the ranch, it cleared my sinuses, but then it all was just draining. And I started yes. coughing. That's what it happens out. to me. <laughs> but that's what happens to it. me. I get that drainage. Mm hmm. That's usually what I have. Just break it up. Just get some hot, some tea, and break it up. I'm good. Mm -hmm. The thing that's what I did that night, too, I just drank some tea. That's what I be doing. I just drink some tea, and that helps. Scotch bonnet powder. Wait a minute. What? What? You just dehydrate it and powder it, pulse it, pulverize it. I have a lot of scotch bonnets. So I was going to do a um, wet jerk seasoning. But I can also dehydrate some and powder it. Make some fire cider and take daily. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I was looking at, if but I just saw something. Yeah. Honestly, I, I made I made fire cider. I have a video. I think it says oh. something like my first tincture ever, but I made the fire cider. I saw that. Okay, that's um, what that is. I have seen that one. Now, what happened is I never went back to it, so... But don't it have alcohol in it? I don't remember what was in it. Because I, I did, I think I did two or three different kinds. 
but I never went back to it. So, I mean, that was years ago. So. Yes. Can't you tell we've known each other forever, GT? No, we didn't. <laughs> No, we went to school together. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. I dehydrated a ton. I dehydrated a ton too. I have not grounded into anything, but it's dehydrated. <laughs> Listen, GT, she drops her link one night and she has not been able to get rid of me. <laughs> you hear me, Tia? You dropped your yes. link one night and ever since then. He just popped up. <laughs> Listen, I've been canning ever since. You could have lied. I believed you. <laughs> <laughs> I also have chili peppers dried to make chili flakes. That'd be good. I want some Thai. That's chili. why I want to grow it. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to grow chili peppers. Well, ca I said cayenne, but yes. I want to make because I love red pepper flakes. Bless you. Bless them. Yes, I like red pepper flakes too. That's a partnership. Cool, cool. Thanks, GT. Basic horseradish, onion, garlic, ginger, jalapeno, lemon. You see the face I'm making? First of all, Horseradish is very first strong. Of all was coming. Second of all, second of all, ginger is very strong. I mean, you want to put all that stuff together, like, and then lemon, garlic. Did she say it's gonna knock too? out whatever it is? It's gonna knock it out. All of it. Who has cayenne? Do you know like medicines you want me to take that when you said echinacea <laughs> you said echo neighbor oh he talking to um gt <laughs> but why are y'all spelling it like all kinds of crazy ways y'all crazy <laughs> and yes, are you saying will. and vinegar? you want me to put vinegar in there too and then I'm supposed to put that in, like, on a spoon and swallow it. Child. I bet it worked. It probably would. The thing is, how are you going to get that you in don't need the light. My throat? You got to get it to the places it's supposed to go. I don't know how it's going to get there. That is why it's called. Listen, Tina. <laughs> That's why it's called Fireside. That is fire. If I took it, it better work on the first go. Like, I can't. She said every morning. I cannot. Like, oh, no. So people got That's right. apple cider vinegar kick. I couldn't do it. I tried it. I gave away that jar of apple cider vinegar. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. I still do mine with apple cider vinegar. I prefer my water with apple cider vinegar. Mimi and Marcus to pick up my water bottle. I do need to like it, Mike. Hello. I do need to like it. GT, I know oh, that it probably will work. That's not, no, it's not. Holding my nose is not going to help. No. Can y'all put that into a capsule? And then I swallow the capsule and then it opens up and do all the things. No, I need help getting a freeze dryer, and these ain't jokes. What do you mean? You need, when you say, a lot. I was about to say, when you say you need help, what does that mean? Finding one? Uh, getting the funds for one? Uh, what does that mean? I, I don't have a freeze dryer. I do have a dehydrator. That's above my pay grade. Yeah, I just know that they, they are expensive. Oh, Mike said four grand. Yeah. They yes, up there. Sir. They way up there. They not that big. Why they cost so much? Cost a lot. Aren't they just I like a little cute? 
they all go in on them and then you know then that way they all use it and everything but they ain't cheap that's a good idea that's just like when you buying a cow or something go in with some people on it people think look at how much it costs to get a whole cow butcher get you about four or five people to go in with you my car was only ten thousand <laughs> i'm with you gina about that pill capsule david said i'm buying Who said one. that kanisha t money they are great, y'all. I know I've heard but, I've heard all um, good things about them, all good things, but I need them to come down to regular prices. I would, I'd probably go down to Amazon, um, uh, black hole looking. I'm a lot. I probably would if I was trying to buy one. I probably because they have usually the best. I mean, not the best, the most reviews for anything. I know they are. I know they're great, David, because I've seen people who use them. But mm -hmm. they're, mm -hmm. they're just not cheap. That is true. That's how you fill your freezer. With that beef, go in with some people. To Nowadays, ain't no telling what it costs to get a cow. I know when I looked into it back a time back, you probably could get one for... <laughs> Processed and everything, probably about twelve hundred, between twelve and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another reason why I need a deep freezer because we didn't get the the full cow. We would do like the the smaller bundles because I like to pick, mix and match. But we always kept those butcher bundles in that freezer when we when we lost the freezer. Mm -hmm. That's what we lost. Them butcher bundles. Yeah, I would be. I would probably panic if I, my freezer went out because my freezer is full. David, what do you need help with finding it? You just need help to find a good one or something. You just need some guidance there because you said you're buying one, so you're looking for help just to find what's good. <clears throat> I wish right. Is the only one that sells. Oh, TLC says Harvest Right Harvest is the only right. one that sells freeze dryers for personal use. <laughs> Harvest Right. Thank you, Tina. Yes, thank you, Tina. All right, y'all. I'm tired. Same. I was just going to say, Gina, are you tired? Oh, I know David has calves. I am. <laughs> David, it's above my pay grade. Yeah. Yeah. I got Same five thing. on it. I got five on it. <laughs> I went to shop for you, David, if you if you got the cash. That's nice. Well, but you you commented too quickly. <laughs> GT said that pepper sauce got you, TT. No, I've been trying to get off here for 20 minutes now. <laughs> and I know Gina. Gina just ain't saying nothing. Listen, we GT, should do a pop-up live two minutes after closing this live. And y'all can see Gina's transformation. <laughs> listen. Y'all, listen, like yesterday I had that live. I don't even know if it was two minutes later. I was on a phone call with Tia and Lydia. And Lydia was like, you got no pajamas? Don't play with me. <laughs> I don't want these. I didn't want those clothes on. That was just for the vibe. <laughs> I did that that night. We did the, um, at Humble Stewart. Because I wasn't playing that night. Yes. All right, cute bottles. Thanks. Bye. Yes. Well, David, when you when you get it, you remember that I got I paid for the handles. I got five on it. <laughs> I don't want my wife smoking me. No, ma'am. <laughs> What's that mean? Did I miss something? 
Or maybe he's what's he gonna say smacking me. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, David bet. said, <laughs> bet. He said, You stripped after the live. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna have. Oh, don't worry about that, Mike. You ain't gonna look. It's gonna have the camera will absolutely. I'm not gonna accidentally have it on. It's gonna absolutely. I want to know what out. other people do after their lives because I feel like after I do my live or even Hubble Stewart is just like, put everything away. You're straight to bed. <laughs> Listen, I just got off work. I literally be like, and I be making sure that camera is off, and I be like. The the chair that I was sitting in is now swiveling with nobody. <laughs> it's just a trail of Vegeta. I'm out. Chair just a swiveling. They do. I'll be leaving this kitchen as is on Saturday nights. I have to get up early Sunday to clean because lights off, everything's done. Listen. Yeah, we coming over, GT. GT, I will be asleep. <laughs> they they need to speak for themselves. I was there yeah. earlier. I, I was there, bruh. But I'm going to tune in. I, because he's, he's, he's I, I watched your live. I was like, hey, everybody. And then uh, you were like, hey, y'all hear me? And I think I said something I'm like, yeah, we can hear you. That's all I remember. I was out. When I That's woke up, sad. the live was over. And 15. <laughs> Not this one. Uh, GT said that's four hours from now. Yep, gonna miss that, GT. Oh, because it's midnight our time, not midnight. Oh, GT. Midnight his time, not midnight Wait our time. You going live at midnight your time? That ain't right. That don't make sense. No, that can't be right. Because midnight our time is in 30 minutes. Yeah. Puff of smoke. That's right. That's Gina. Out. Listen. Listen. Every time I do these lives, my y'all be seeing my husband go back and forth. He's a night owl. He be he he be up. He's in the man cave. I when I be up this late on Saturdays, he be like, I'll be shocked you be up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Cause I am like clockwork. Mm-hmm. I usually I will I usually let the dogs out. That's one thing that I will do before I go to bed. Actually, Kodak laying right here with his leash on. He brought me his leash 45 minutes ago. Like, let's go. So I'm gonna let the dogs out and then I'll be in bed. Yes, yeah, she will. She moved fast too. Uh GT Junior, if you give away seeds, Gina will show shut up. <laughs> No. <laughs> Just say the word, GT. Give away. Here go, Gina. <laughs> they some haters, GT. Because I be winning. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to catch the... Um, I'm going to have to catch the replay. Um, GT. But I, I'm going to catch it because you're doing it. I'm, I'm always here for them sweet potato harvests. Hey, Philip. Philip. Tell ask her what's taking her so long. You gotta go. Tell her you gotta go potty. You gotta go potty. Hey, Philip. He like uh your peoples. <laughs> uh, he is a mess. Mind you, there are two other adults in this house, and he is by me. Philip, go get your leash so your mama can take that you leash out. is off. That leash is off. <laughs> I put it on them already. You See, know how you yeah. had kids, they won't go somewhere. You would put their coat on, but you knew put they won't go. On and they like, oh, you keep talking, mama. I want to go. <laughs> Listen, I absolutely know what how that is. <laughs> My kids do that to me. Mm -mm. Yeah, did that leash bit? I was like, here, just put it on. Leave me alone. He ready though. You ready? Go outside. Yeah, Kodak is a pretty dog. Don't be hyping his head up. 
<laughs> yes, so. You can go pee pee. No mess with that cat out there. That cat out there, that's why you won't go outside. Hmm? Come here. Come here. What do you say? What do you say? Speak. Speak and we'll go. Speak. What? What? You ready? You ready to go outside? Let's go. He said, all right, I said it. I said it. <laughs> like, come on. All right. Good night, Miss Cheryl. Good night, Mike. Good night, GT. Yep. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Brown. Let's go in and see y'all next week. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.